is our first bit of footage from PB as unfortunately we lost the first few days as the GoPro has been overriding the footage when the SD card is getting full. So unfortunately we can't show you the gorgeous boat trip here and where we stayed our first few nights as we changed accommodation halfway through and we can't show you our favourite beach and some of the restaurants that we ate in but we're doing the best with what we've got so hopefully you'll still enjoy. We are about to go up to the viewpoint. It's another 50 metres that way. Um, we're just realising how many bites we got last night. I got eaten alive and didn't even realise. But yeah, just had breakfast. We had actually had peanut butter on toast. I've missed having peanut butter and I miss having cereal. But I can get that here. Yeah, but we have peanut butter on toast. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have a boat uh, toast again. You ready? Ready. Ready for this walk and this heat. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So walking up to the viewpoint. So we're almost there. We thought we'd stop and have a look. There's, there it's the beautiful beaches. And there it's just beautiful beach, yeah, look at the water, it's beautiful. But, it's hard work, it's hard work walking up here. The steps are really steep, when I mean, you're unfit like me, it's a struggle, especially in this heat. But yeah. What an amazing view, eh? So we made it to the top of the PP viewpoint. Thank you. 
this is how steep the walk back down is, look. But that's the view you get. Hello. So this is our, I think it's fifth day in PP now. We extended a couple more nights. The hotel we was in said that was like, yeah, don't worry, the room will hold open for you tomorrow. If you want to stay another night, you can. And then it got to the next day and they were like, oh no, we rented it out, you need to move. So luckily we found a place literally just up the road. It's 50 baht more a night, but it's cooler at night. We want a bit of a better balcony, but you can see a bit more. Not that the reviews are amazing, but it's just a bit nicer, I think, because we've got this. See a lot of work is going on. Yeah, you get these cool chalet things. So today's due to rain. We're gonna go do a bit of a walk today. Hopefully get the drone out and get a few more shots. I'm a bit wary in Thailand about getting the drone out because, I mean, you're supposed to register it. Which obviously I've done. I have insurance, which obviously I have. But you have to get permission from people, you never know who to ask, so. When we did to the viewpoint, I asked the people at the viewpoint whether it was okay to fly, and they were like, yeah, it's fine. When we got the tickets and we got to the viewpoint, I asked both people, and they both said it was okay. So I felt pretty comfortable there, but. Whew, it's hot, it's 34 degrees, it's literally 10 past 12, it's midday heat, and we once again are going out on it. We've got to stop doing this. Kelly moans and says that it's my fault, so I don't get up early. Which is right. I don't get up early. But I'm on holiday, I'm travelling, I'm allowed to have lions. We still get a lot done during the day. Decided to stay an extra day and pee pee. We've been looking at it for four days. Yeah, we've been looking at it kayaking. Let's go out and do it. We're gonna go do it. We've got a whole hour. Well, I don't, yeah, we've got an hour. It's meant to piss it down, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> we are kayaking. <laughs> We can go wherever we want. Wherever we're brave <laughs> enough to go, I think. Yeah. So, um, we're like a proper tourist, and I didn't want to sunburn in the middle of the ocean and all that jazz. <laughs> right, let's see where we end up. Right. Where did over there? We're heading this way. See what it's like around the rocks. And it's nice and clear. Clear to see. Beautiful. Right. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Hold it with my toes. Island because I thought you'd see them all in the trees. Well, we can get a bit closer and then stop. That's so pretty. We have been fighting for half an hour now. It's hard work. <laughs> We're just still going. Yeah, we managed to get round to one of the bays here. 
who needs a yacht when you have a kayak. <laughs> but yeah, we only pay to do an hour, you know, good old budget travellers. So... I don't think I could do more than an hour. <laughs> We're going to have to start heading back inland. Um, but it's beautiful. We've got to go all the way inland. You know, I said my culture is going to discount Lord Tal Wright. <laughs> they teach you all the things you really need to know. Tell me I'm beautiful. Uh, you're beautiful. That is Sway Mug. Sway Mug. Where are we? Garlic. We're in a restaurant called Garlic that have been past the last few nights and it's busy. <laughs> they hand out one of these on the way in. The restaurant is full and we're waiting for a menu. Yeah, they know it was just one thing, it's the old garden somewhere. But... What are you fancying to eat? I might get a pad thai, but I don't know. I might double check the menu. <laughs> about a we'll pad thai, be... about quitting curry. We'll be back with updates. <laughs> They've even got a safe corner for us. Mama noodle soup with chicken, 55, like it's for the cheaper. I don't have that. Oh. You do on your first page. The cheap budget backpacker one. Uh, maybe that's why I've got so many people here. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> To go for well, I guess you've got a lot of chicken in there. Oh, just a coke, and your drink still hasn't turned up yet. Yeah. Well, I'm going to eat this. Oh, that looks good too. That does look good. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Ah, thank you, Mark. Ah, Everything we ordered. Enjoy. Our favorite spot after an incredible lunch. Mm. We've just been back to Garlic for lunch where we had dinner last night. Um, I had spicy chicken and green bean curry that Rupa had with um, our bed. No? So, no spice. So good. I think it's one of the best meals I've had the whole trip. Everything's going well until 2004 when a tsunami hit and totally wiped out the island. We forget about that. 
you know, we treat this like a paradise island and everyone's enjoying themselves, but it wasn't that long ago a tsunami come and hit and devastated the island. After that, by 2005, they got up and running again. Everything was going well until a fire hit and a fire hit in 2018 and destroyed the whole place again and again with local help for the PP tourist industry and all the locals they managed to rebuild it again for a second time and then Covid hit in 2019-2020 that shut the place down and now it's all up and running and I'm hoping that nothing else is going to happen oh we had a cyclone as well that also come and destroyed an area very interested and this is our food fantastic Pika. Hmm? Dika. Dika. good good i can't remember what the list was called Dika. i'm Dika. right i'm gonna eat some starving but yeah interesting Our last morning in PP. It's currently eight o'clock in the morning. We're getting some breakfast. Right out of here is nine. How are you feeling? Alright. We haven't got up that early in a while. I say early, it's really even that early. But it is early. For you. We got up at half seven, it's ridiculous. We got up at half seven. I was up at half seven. You got up at bloody seven or whatever the hell it was. If I think up earlier, we would be out really late. It takes ages to pack up. So we're here. On the road. With our bags. And then even pee pee. Pee pee's been good. It's been good, isn't it? Yeah, boat ride next. Hope we've got enough back to your memory on things and machine. Well, I'm going to breakfast and coffee.